Basically your time working for the DAB? Now that's a question. I guess I did in my own unique way. Every day I was able to learn more and more about the world around me. It made it all seem so much bigger. And it was fun. But along with all of that, I learned a good deal I'd rather not have known. And that's why you've put it all behind you now, I guess. If I'd been having fun till the end, I'd still be there, wouldn't I? Anyway, we should head to our last stop. UBX. Come on. So what's here? What does it look like? An office building. Whoa now, I was willing to humor you on this little excursion, but there's no way you're getting me in there. I didn't bring you here for what's inside. Then why did you? I want you to look closely at all the people coming and going. How do they look to you? Hmm, they all look tired. Anything else? Not really, they just look tired. <sighs> Guess the life of a breadwinner is a pretty grueling one. I don't want to be hearing that kind of crap from the likes of you. I'm 19. What do you expect? I told you. I'd already begun thinking about my future by the time I was your age. <sighs> Doesn't matter, though. You don't care about any of this anyway. That's exactly right. I don't. We shouldn't be trying to change who we are. <laughs> I guess in my old age, I just can't help but meddle in the affairs of kids like you. Freji? Besides, if you do get a job doing something you like, and then you lose it, it leaves you kind of hollow inside. Are you saying you're hollow inside now from losing your job at the DAB? Don't know. Haven't really thought about it. At any rate, that's about it for the job tour. Ain't gonna get through that thick skull of yours anyway. Hey, rude. You want to keep going then? I'll pass, thanks. A delusion scape. Shall we enter? Oh, a save point. Shall we take a break? I have a feeling something important is about to happen to us. Pardon me, Master Asahi. Might I perhaps have a moment of your time? Sure. What's up? I'm preparing an afternoon treat for the mistress. And there are a variety of ingredients I'll need to complete it. Man, you really are the real deal, aren't you? Not only do you look after Ko, but you even make her desserts. Attending to the mistress's many needs is my sworn duty. I'm happy to make all her meals, from breakfast through dinner. I take it then that Ko's life is pretty, uh, responsibility-free, shall we say? Do you have a problem with that? Letting someone else take care of all the little stuff suits me just fine. Don't you think you might be spoiling her, Yoshino? I feel that I'm teaching her the necessities of running a household, which may prove useful to her in the future. And I keep telling you, I don't have even the slightest intention of getting married and settling down. What? Married? Oh yes, I've been stressing the importance of homemaking, as that may yet prove the most viable path for her. Wow, color me shocked. Let's stop talking about me for one second and focus on what's important here. You said you needed ingredients? Oh, yes. I would appreciate us taking a detour so I can acquire... Oh, what's wrong? I believe I forgot to shut off the gas at the manor this morning. That's not like you. Indeed. I'm terribly sorry. If you would please allow me a moment's return to the manor, I'd be most appreciative. I'll be back as soon as I'm able. 
Looks like she dropped something. It's a recipe. The mistress's treat. First she leaves the gas on, then she drops crucial documents? <laughs> something is definitely off about Yoshino today. Maybe she's tired from being overworked so much by a thoughtless mistress? <laughs> Not a chance. Either way, let's go do her shopping. It would take a load off her plate and, I mean, it's for you anyway, right? That's true enough. And if we save time on gathering ingredients, I'll be able to get my afternoon treat sooner. Wow, you're actually going along with my suggestion? Let's not waste any time then. To the supermarket at UBX. What's on the list? Onions, eggs, a bowl of udon, and some fish paste. Come again? Hey, don't look at me. That's what it says. It certainly does. What the heck kind of afternoon treat can you make from those ingredients, though? What, are you doubting Yoshino's ability? Not exactly, but something definitely doesn't add up here. Yoshino can make absolutely anything you know. Like what? What does she normally make you? Japanese sweets? Western sweets, stuff I've never even heard of before, too. Like I said, anything. Wow, the real deal all the way. <laughs> what did you expect? She is my maid. This should be everything. Yep, I think we're done here. Oh, no, not quite yet. There's more written down here. I've never heard of this particular spice before, though. What is spatula? Huh? What are you talking about? It's a spatula, a cooking utensil. Oh, right. So where would we find one of those? Juan Quixote's a good bet. Nearest one is on Main Street. Let's amscray. aren't you? You really have no idea what a spatula is, do you? Just how little cooking experience do you have? Can you cook at all? Oh, how rude. Of course I can. What, like cup ramen? No, like salmon. You can grill a salmon? What are you talking about? Salmon goes in rice balls. Ah, of course. My mistake. And I'm pretty good with kelp, too. Also in rice balls, I'm guessing. Of course. What else would you do with it? Uh, a lot of things, actually. Nonsense. Seriously, just how much does Yoshino actually do for you? Everything you'd expect of a maid. She prepares my tea, makes me treats, that sort of thing. Then there's the preparing of my meals, cleaning, and of course, the laundry. Oh, and sorting and taking out the trash. That poor, poor woman. Phew. <sighs> That was quite a shopping list. No kidding. Why was all of this on there? How should I know? I just bought whatever was written down. Shampoo, conditioner, detergent, bath soap, tissues, trash bags, a scrubbing brush.